morning, everyone. I got a fun little small town story for you. So I live in a small town, and uh, I'm driving or riding to work here. And I get on some roads that I go on every single day of my life, or to get to work anyway. And I'm just cruising along, and you know, I don't know. You go into autopilot a little bit when you're when you're uh, you know just driving to work, and also a motorcycle is. Uh, Obviously, you can go faster than the speed limit pretty easily. Um, but, you know, if I'm around town and stuff, I, I definitely try to keep it within the speed limit, right? Like, you never want to hurt somebody, pedestrians and other stuff like that. So, when I'm, like, in city environments, I de generally try to keep it within the speed limit, you know, or, or close to it. So, this specific road I was on is a 45, and then it goes down to a 30. So, it's a little foggy today. It's better here, but it was foggier up the hill. So, I'm riding... And uh, I can't really see he's far, far in front of me. So I pass a police officer at uh, like apparently 52 miles an hour. Um, honest to God, I've said this before in videos, this speedometer does not work so well. So like it looks like I'm going 70 right now. Uh, I, if I had the GPS up, you'd see that I'm going like 62. The problem is it doesn't scale. Because if the speedometer is going 80, the bike's going like 77. So it's like you don't like unless you really. I haven't like ever memorized exactly how far it's off at a given like five mile per hour increment. So I literally don't know sometimes how fast I'm going. Like that's actually not a line of BS. But uh, um, so anyway, I uh, uh, I'm just going and I I do look down. My speedometer was definitely above 30, and I think I was in the 30 zone at that point. I'm actually not even sure exactly where he would have got me because it was pretty close to where it would have changed over so i was either going a few miles per hour over or you know 15 or uh, 52 so 22 over oopsie but he pulls me over he walks out and he's like as he's walking out i'm like oh wait that's my friend's brother who's a police officer in our town so i was like oh shit okay so anyway he walks over he's like hey uh you know, uh, I was like, hey, Mr. Blank, his name, how you doing? He's like, good, good. He's like, he's like, you know how fast you're going, right? I was like, honestly, in all seriousness, I don't, right? And especially him, I'm not going to be him. Um, he's like, 52. And I was like, oh, okay. So here I am thinking it's a 45 or a 30, and I'm like, eh, you know, whatever, right? He's like, it's a 20 mile per hour zone. Two weeks ago, they put up signs for the school zone because it's by a school, and it's now a 20 mile per hour zone. I swear on my life, I have, I mean, I'm, they're there, I'm sure, I, I have probably seen them and just like, like the blindness of living in an area and driving a road every day, literally didn't even see the signs. Um, if so if you, if you put my, you know, put me on a lie detector test before, you know, 10 minutes ago, I would have literally had no idea that those, there was 20 mile an hour signs there. So then I was just like, oh shit. You know, this isn't good because, yeah, he knows me, but, like, that's a pretty far amount over the speed limit. Like, at some point, he might have to do something, but apparently uh, it's my lucky day because it's the, uh, the, the police department is doing a, uh, two weeks worth of warnings or whatever. So it's, like it's the last day of a warning before the school year starts. So anybody they catch today, um, you know, they're just giving a warning. So I was like, okay, great. That's, that's phenomenal. Um... I, uh, you know, so I got off scot free. So I'm very thankful for that. Thank you, my friend. Um, I'll have to get him a buy him a beer sometime when I see him. But uh, yeah, so that avoided a really absurd, what would have been an absurdly painful ticket for something that, you know, there's very little traffic on that road. School's not even in session yet. It's like, you know, really at the end of the day, would not have. Uh, I was really not putting the public at harm. I was just going a little too fast for the speed limit, so, you know, it is what it is. So I'm thankful that he worked with me, and uh, we're going about our day. But, well, that was a fun one, and it's a humble reminder that uh, two things, right? A lot of good officers and departments out there, uh, you know, and that there's also uh, consequences to breaking the law. And let's be completely honest, I definitely can be seen going a bit over the speed limit in my videos uh sometimes so it's something to consider right you know maybe maybe uh, roll back a couple miles an hour keeps you potentially a little safer and keeps you from getting pulled over so 
that's that. Thanks for watching. God bless America. See you on the next one.